Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Ashley Ross, better known as Minnie on the Lifetime series Little Women Atlanta, was just 34 years old at the time of her passing. According to an initial statement from her management, Minnie was treated at Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta, but died of her injuries on Monday, April 27th. In the show, Minnie's biggest storyline was that of her fate pregnancy. Her publicist told media that Minnie had been involved in a hit-and-run car accident and that she had been gravely injured when the car she was in collided with another vehicle near Old National Highway in Atlanta on Sunday. However, as people reported, the City of South Fulton Police Department revealed that the car accident was not a hit-and-run. The initial investigation shows that Minnie was driving south in her car when she hit the right side curb, crossed the lane and ploughed into a vehicle that was heading north. The other driver received minor injuries and was treated on the site, while Minnie was immediately taken to the hospital. Minnie survived by her mother, Tammy Jackson, who made several appearances on the show too, and her aunt, uncle and grandmother. Ashley Ross was born on October 21st, 1984, and she was an only child. It isn't clear if she had a relationship with her father, but she had a close bond with her mother, Tammy, who came to her defence on Little Women Atlanta often. As Ashley revealed to Madame Noir in 2016, she got her nickname Minnie after a friend started calling her that in reference to Dr Evil's sidekick, Minnie Me, on the Austin Powers film franchise. Minnie embraced the nickname, but growing up in Atlanta, she had a hard time dealing with the jokes about her size and stares that followed wherever she went. People were bullying and teasing and pointing and staring. People constantly stared, Minnie said. You get people who try to take pictures of you on the side. She said it was hard for her to get a job because employers didn't think she was capable of performing tasks correctly because of her stature. She explained, They thought that it was a disability and that I couldn't do the job, but I was like, yes I can. I can do anything that a normal sized person can do. Minnie said sometimes she would enter stores that had hiring signs outside and when she tried to apply they would tell her, no we're not hiring. Despite the discrimination she faced, Minnie was determined to prove everyone wrong and she owed that fire in her personality to her mom. She sat down with me one day and said, you have people staring at you, give them something to stare at, Minnie recalled. And that's what she did. She had her mom created a diva and claimed, if they're going to stare, I'm going to give them something to stare at. Minnie wanted to be a hairstylist and her mom knew someone who gave Minnie the chance to work as her assistant at a salon. Then she went to beauty school and got her licence and the woman gave her a job. Surprisingly, Minnie won a clientele fast, as people were drawn to her from being a little woman. People were like, oh, I want her to do my hair. I want to see what she can do, Minnie said. Minnie had been part of the Little Women Atlanta cast since its first season in 2016, alongside castmates Brianna Barlup, Tiffany Moni Cachette, Emily Fernandez and the Salinas Twins. Minnie said she wanted to be part of the reality show because she wanted people to know what life is like for little people like her. To see that they have struggles, yes, but that they can also lead normal lives. In the show, Minnie's biggest storyline was that of her fake pregnancy. On season two, she revealed she was expecting a baby with her then-boyfriend, rapper Pastor Troy. However, she later revealed during a surprise baby shower that some of her castmates drew for her that she had a miscarriage. Still, some of her co-stars didn't believe her and called her out for lying. It was on season three that Minnie finally came clean about the situation. She explained that after missing her period, she thought she was pregnant and went to the doctor. She wasn't pregnant, but said she was and later lied about the miscarriage. Minnie admitted her mistake and apologised to everyone involved. Minnie had been dating Atlanta producer Slick Speets since 2019. The man took to Instagram after Minnie's death was made public to share a heartfelt message that read, in part, The moment I saw you, I just knew it. I realised that you are all that I have been searching for all my life. I love you today, I love you tomorrow, and I will love you the same ten years from now, he continued. He also called Minnie the love of his life, and asked for prayers for Minnie's mother and for him too. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.